The Cebuano Balitao The Balitao is a representative Cebuano love debate in song and dance by a man and a woman who alternately display witty ideas on a variety of subject matters. It is a communal form of entertainment during harvest and other occasions. Having no definite authorship, this popular poetic form has been orally handed down from our ancestors. According to Maria Colina Gutierrez, the Balitao had been in the islands long before the Spaniards came. In her study, The Cebuano Balitao and How It Mirrors Visayan Culture and Folk Life, she writes that the Balitao fits in with Edwin Leib's definition of a love song that was common among the cattle racers of Europe and Africa. This love song is antiphonal in character, part of which is sung by the man and part is sung by the woman, and they are in rhymed verse. Gutierrez notes that from these significant facts, of which the Balitao is a kind, it may have been diffused from the region of northern India and south China, where the pastoral nomads may have settled for a while. The nomads must have moved southward and must have come into contact with the Malays of southern Asia. Alternating songs were found in Anam, Tong Kong, and Sumatra. Gutierrez believes that the alternating songs were introduced into the Philippines by the first wave of Malays between 12,000 to 8,000 BC, as are found in the dying song and dance of the Lepanto Igorots, the love song sung during courtship by both sexes in the Isnegs of Abra, and the O Agayam Galayaman of the Apayaos. Among the Christian Filipinos, these alternating songs, or song and dance jousts, are especially popular in the Lua of the Ilongos, the Balitaos of the Picolanos and Cebuanos, the Dalot of the Ilocanos, and the Smiling of the Warais. The etymology of the term Balitao, according to Bernabe Capilli, might have come from the Spaniards who must have labeled the dance movements valse, or waltz, which the natives corrupted into the term bal and linked this with the term tao or tao to produce balitao, a dance of the people. The introduction of the harp by the Spaniards gave the balitao a more melodious accompaniment, although there was always the coconut shell guitar that was readily available to go together with the performance. When the people gathered together in work or at merrymaking, the balita was always at hand to tickle the hearts of the men and women. Even when the cities and poblaciones became the centers of Spanish cultural influences, the balita kept its place in the rural areas of the country. Gutierrez notes that social gatherings usually opened with a balita. It was a highlight of agricultural festivals. In the evening when the day's work was done, the harvesters would huddle around a clearing and to the strains of guitar music, a pair danced around and exchanged witty remarks and verses in song, while the crowd, tired from the day's work, laughed and yelled in enjoyment. Oftentimes it was a contest between the sexes. Whoever was outwitted was replaced, and the audience took turns booing whoever was defeated or applauding whoever was successful. The Balitao structure is simple. It consists of the exchange of greetings before the performers introduce themselves to each other. Maayong gabi kaninyong tanan, na ni akaroon ning kalingawan, kining akong paghatag o katahuran, way gipili bata, tigulang o mga kahigalaan. Kay tapos na ang akong pagtahod, din hiday sa imong atubangan, mangutana ako kanimo sa tinuod, tabi kinsa may imungalan. Ako usab ikaw ang tuganan, handuma ang mga katamis, si Tonyo ang akong ngalan, ang bansagun ko mao si Tamatis. The main action consists of the man's statement of his proposal, which the woman then challenges until she finally accepts the suit. The general characteristics of the balitao are anonymity of authorship, spontaneity of expression, debate of wits, memory and creativity, 
repetition of lines, and the use of refrain and didacticism. There are two balitao formats. First is the standard antiphonal balitao, which is unwritten, since it relies mainly on the singer's ability to rhyme and for harmoniously setting the verse to music. In this form, the couples depend on their innate skills to compose witty verses to fit the subject matter required, as well as the rhythm provided by the accompaniment. The second is the Balitao Romansada, an offshoot of the traditional form wherein to vary the monotony of the song, a third person was added to sing alone. This third person could not participate in the antiphonal singing of the Balitao couple, so he or she either sang to lament his or her fate or glory in his or her luck. The most popular composer of the Balitao Romansada is Rafael Gandionco who has also been called the father of the Cebuano Balitao. Ang Dalaga sa Bukid is his most famous Balitao. Another composer, Manuel Vélez, is well known for Sa Kabukiran, which has also been sung in a Tagalog version by Silvia Latore. The Balitao's composition is mostly written in the major key of C, which is used for the jolly and spirited mood, while the minor key comes under the key of A for the sentimental and pathetic mood. The Balitao stanza is a common meter quatrain or a ballad stanza. The melody into which the lyrics are woven is stereotyped and fixed. Within the stanza, no specific conventional meter is used for a line 
but slurring and the sinalifa are used to keep up with the rhythm. Since the flow of thought is faster than its vocal expression, the rhyme scheme also does not have a fixed pattern. The rhyme scheme may vary from ABAB. Ang isuko ni tatay mo kanako, nga iya kanakong ipatuman. Maukuno nga ang usa kabalay nga dako, nga ato kuno sing pagapuyan. To an AABB. Tinuod ang imong katarungan, nga supak ang akong ginikanan. Apan wala gayod sila'y mahimo, kay ako man kiningitino. Or even an AAAA pattern. Ako ikaw tonyong pasaligan, nga ako gayod silang taligtan. Kay supak na kana sa kalagdaan, dili ako buot ilang pakaulawan. Gutierrez observes that rhyme in the Balitao verse is not a perfect rhyme, rather an assonance. In 1910, Pedro Alfafara and Nicolasa Caniban, popularly known as Pedro and Colasing, began their successful career as a famous Balitao couple. They toured the entire province of Cebu dancing the Balitao. They were especially called to dance during town fiestas, carnival celebrations, Christmas time, on New Year's Eve, and other holiday celebrations around towns in Bohol, Leyte, Negros Oriental, and even as far as Mindanao. Indong Colasing practically became synonymous with the Balitao. Wherever they went, people awaited their coming just as we await the coming of celebrities. Oftentimes, a band would meet them at their arrival and usher them to the town where they would sing for the night. Another couple, Antonio and Josefa Bohol, also known as Tonyo and Pasing, popularized the Balitao through radio and stage performances until the 1970s. They also starred as Balitao dancers in the Cebuano movie entitled Garbosa in 1956. The couple was also featured in radio programs such as the Visayan Trobadors directed by Ben Zubiri and the Balitao Hour aired over the DYRC station from February 1948 until June 1950. In modern Cebuano culture, it had been subject to several modifications in form, such as the drama Balitao, where innovations were added. A stage with a backdrop and furnishings, and the cast can be more than two, although the Balitao couple are still the mainstays. The Balitao had also been incorporated into the motion picture as it struggled with foreign influences against its demise as a living tradition. Piyuk's Kabahar immortalized the Balitao in his first movie production with Tor Villarino entitled Rosas Pangdan. The film was about a mountain girl who lived a simple yet virtuous life. She was a Balitao singer and a dancer extraordinaire. The Balitao reflects different aspects of Cebuano life and customs. It also embodies the Cebuano's sentiments, attitudes, and values. Most of the time, it is a reaction of the people to the environment, to work such as farming, fishing, and palm toddy gathering, and to the joys and sorrows of life. Relationships between men and women, Domestic problems as well as challenges of love and married life give rise to the big bulk of the Balitao's composed. The Balitao has struggled to survive through years of competition with foreign music and dance, neglect and apathy. Activities initiated by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, the Cultural Center of the Philippines, and other local organizations interested in preserving indigenous cultural traditions provide venues for the Balitao's endurance, no matter how scarce or limited. It is therefore up to us to keep this tradition alive.
Tigidum, 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 tigidum